Hi, this is Yumeng X. It's Friday, April the 19th, 2024 today. In this video, I want to talk about how absurd it is for Westerners to talk about their own liberal democracy system like it's the only form of democracy in the world. I felt inspired when hearing Western people talking about democracy 30 years ago when I was young and knew very little about the West. After having lived in the West for 20, 28 years, I now feel disgusted every time I hear Westerners talking about democracy, especially when America, Americans and the British people do so. Disgusted was how I felt when I browsed through the article by David Lammy in the May-June 2024 issue of Foreign Affairs. As a matter of fact, 99% of the time when I come across any media report on China in the American mainstream media, especially in the last five or six years or so, I wonder which planet those people talking or reporting about China have been living on. In the 21st century, it is very disconcerting that so many Western elites are still thinking what is good for them must be good for people of a country whose culture and history are so vastly different from theirs. What is astonishing for me is, if these people believe they have a say regarding international, international relations, shouldn't they at least brush up on their knowledge about the concept of diversity and the multiculturalism that have already become a mainstay in a much more inclusive culture inside their own countries first? Why are they still talking like the, redne the rednecks and racists from the 1950s when it comes to another culture and country? They essentially sound not much different from their colonial ancestors who thought the whole world should be changed into a split image of their world, which means the whole world should speak their language, practice their religion, and uh, adopt their social and political systems. What is more astonishing is that these people yet to put, uh, place their much outdated narratives in the mainstream media why people who want a more peaceful and rational world and who are bilingual and bicultural like me are sidelined. Funny enough, this reminds me of a Seinfeld ep episode. This is a brief recap. Watch it and let me know if you think I'm onto something here. I mean, look at him. He's got to be on his feet like that all day. I mean, that's brutal. I think I'm going to say something to your uncle. George, you just met him. Don't say anything to him. Aren't you concerned about the security guard? Not really. <laughs> Let me ask you something. When you go into a store, does it bother you that they make the security guard just stand there all day? No. <laughs> they didn't bother Susan either. That's why I'm different. I can sense the slightest human suffering. <laughs> Are you sensing anything right now? I'm tired. <laughs> uh, how come, uh, no chair? What? I, I couldn't help but notice that uh, you don't have a chair. I don't need a chair. No, I, I didn't mean to imply that you did. You're obviously a very uh, well-proportioned individual. <laughs> what, what I was just wondering is, um, have they ever offered you a chair? No. Would you like a chair? I suppose if they gave me one, I'd sit down. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You would, wouldn't you? Obviously, I'd rather sit than stand, if that's what you're asking. That's exactly my point. Well, who wouldn't? As I tell you, frankly, I would like to walk in here one day and find you sitting down. Well, there you go. What do you think? Mr. Roth said this was okay? I'm his nephew, all right? Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Check it out. Well. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Ha, 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 ha.